It seemed as if every time I asked a golfer which course they should play around Denver, Riverdale Dunes kept coming up. And after playing my first round there, I can see why I will be recommended as well. Designed by Pete and Perry Dye, it's a Scottish style Lynx course full of pot bunkers, mounds, water, and the trademark railroad ties. It's also been mentioned as a top course multiple times in various publications. Most certainly I could feature every hole. I couldn't find a bad hole on the course, though some definitely gave me a good beating. But here to me were some of the many standout holes. And I would love to hear in the comments below any holes not mentioned here that you love on the course. Hole number five is a mostly straight and fairly long par four with a slight turn to the right at the end. The ideal drive would be down the left hand side which will leave you a good approach shot to the green. Anything too far right or left will kick into the rough or fescue. And a healthy slice will have you hitting out of rough covered mounds and all sorts of angles only mountain climbers are familiar with. You'll also have little to no view of the green if you're too far right as it's blocked by this large mound. The green is long enough to provide various challenging positions and it's also guarded by plenty of sand and grass bunkers. A par is an excellent score on this hole, even a bogey won't seem too terrible. Hole number seven is a challenging par four with water running down the entire left hand side. For those of us who tend to pull the ball, <clears throat> we may be tempted to block our tee shots off to the right. But this will just put us in some nasty rough covered slopes with an obstructed view to the green. Those who find the middle of the fairway will be rewarded with an easier approach shot into a fairly long green. But if they try too hard to avoid the water, there's all sorts of not so fun places your ball can end up. A par here can definitely feel like a birdie. And if you get a large number, well, know you have company. Now that you survived hole seven, hopefully, the next two holes should go a little easier on you and give you a decent chance for a birdie or two. Hole number eight is a beautiful par three with water and traps to avoid, and down the right-hand side are large hills with deep grass. Though beautiful to behold as your ball somehow ends up in one of them, either this is your cue to feign a sudden injury and escape after nine, or call your nearest Sherpa to help you find your ball. Heading over to hole nine, birdies are certainly on the menu for those with a solid tee shot and approach. The best place to be down the right hand side is anything too far left will leave you guessing where the green is. However, there is a price to pay for those who go for it in two and are not precise. Like ending up in this pit of golf in hell or on one of the many rough covered grass bunkers. But with three solid shots, you can definitely find yourself getting ready for a birdie dance and heading to the back nine feeling invincible once again. Enjoy it while you can. Hole number 11 once again brings water into play, but this time down the right hand side. Two solid shots will give some players a chance to go for the green in two, but with water down the right and rough covered hills you could ski down on the left, just being in the fairway will feel like a win. Your approach shot to a wide rolling green presents trouble on the right and left, so getting on the dance floor will leave you celebrating and looking for someone to high five. Though they'll most likely be too busy looking for their balls, so best to enjoy your victory privately. Hole number 14 is a drivable par four for some, but is most certainly a risk reward hole. You'll need to hit a very precise drive or you could end up with a view similar to this one with anything pulled left. There are also well positioned pot bunkers ready to gobble up golf balls that try to get too close. So many golfers may choose to take out a hybrid or a fairway metal and leave a short approach shot in from the right hand side of the fairway and give themselves a solid chance of birdie. Your next hole offers yet another risk reward opportunity. My playing partner drove it over the screen so it's definitely reachable, but once again there's plenty of trouble to find yourself in should you not hit the perfect tee shot or approach. A driver or fairway metal positioned on the right hand side of the fairway should leave a short iron approach shot in, but beware of going too far right and avoiding the water as once again you will find unfriendly grass bunkers and mounds that will make your hands shake a little or a lot when hitting to a green with water just off the putting surface. Hole number 17 is a beautiful par 3 with water running all the way down the right hand side. 
With a green large enough to be out of the comfort level of most NFL kickers, the yardage can change drastically on this hole from a short to a long iron. And with water, a bunker as long as the green and the familiar hills and grass hazards in play, hitting the putting surface is going to put a smile on your face. Hole number 18 offers once again a drivable par 4. Of course, I should point out that these drivable par 4s are from the blue tees. The black tees are going to be a different story altogether or require worry to be on the tee box. This par 4 has two fairways divided by a large rough covered hills. The wider fairway is on your left and those feeling a little more lucky can take on the shorter path to the right. There's definitely a chance for a birdie to close out your round, but with a small green covered by hills and rough, something bigger could creep in if you're not careful. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video and are interested in seeing more of the best Colorado has to offer golfers, please like and subscribe. And if you've been fortunate enough to play Riverdale Dunes, please share your thoughts about this course in the comments below. I can't wait to come back and play this course in the spring when it will take on an entirely different look, so look for that video. See you on the next video and may the golf gods be with you always.